Well, 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 breaking news. One of our recent F around and found out grand champions has officially F around and found out. Uh, due to unfortunate circumstances, Ward 2 Councilwoman and City Council Vice President of Jackson, Mississippi, Angelique Lee, has resigned from her duties. Let's go over here and hear the quick press conference from the city council and see what, see what they got to say about it. And I'll give my opinion. I expect more news on this, like the reason why to break here today, maybe tomorrow, definitely by Friday. Uh, so anyway, here we go. Good morning, everyone. Councilwoman Angelique Lee of Ward 2 has provided me and the members of the city council her written resignation effective immediately. As president of the city council, it is with a, with a heavy heart that I have accepted her resignation. Under these unfortunate circumstances, the Ward 2 seat is now vacant. My intent today is to reassure the people of the city of Jackson that the urgent legislative affairs of the city will continue uninterrupted. I know our citizens to be resilient, resourceful, and generous. We are no strangers to challenge. Here are the next steps. Because this unexpired term in War II is greater than six months, the City Council is required under Mississippi law to meet within the next 10 days and order a special election, which must take place on a date between 30 and 45 days from the date of our meeting. If you have any additional questions, I encourage you to please contact the City Clerk's Office at 601-960-1035. Thank you. All right, so Angelique Lee's name has been tied to, let me do this. Angelique's name has been tied to all the rumors, innuendo, and speculation about a federal indictment, a multiple federal indictment, should I say, on multiple elected officials, lobbyists, and uh, minority set-aside contractors in Jackson, Mississippi. Again, rumors and innuendo. But this is the first shoe to drop that uh, Angelique Lee was, in fact, uh, assumed, alleged to be one of those participants in a corruption scandal, a bribery scandal, is, uh, is what the scuttlebutt says. I want to be very careful about what I say here until it's all confirmed. But let's just be honest. If you're watching this, you know what I'm talking about. We'll see what else happens. They, they're probably going to end up having to have more than one special election because I'm hearing that two to three, two to three city council people, the mayor and the Hines County DA are all involved. Again, what we do know is that they, they served a search warrant or raided, however you want to word that, on DA Jody Owens' offices and a business he owns in downtown Jackson. And they also spoke with the mayor's top assistant. And also rumor has it that the mayor had his cell phone. They all had their cell phones taken by the FBI. Uh, you'll notice recently the mayor did a press conference talking about um, he couldn't return calls because he was having some phone problems. Well, his phone problems, again, allegedly, just to protect myself here, was because the FBI had his phone. So good times. In Jacktown, we'll see how all, all see how all of it shakes out. See how the dust settles here in the next few days. I, I'd heard some rumors that these indictments weren't going to be served to maybe after the election to avoid the political backlash of a Democrat uh, Justice Department, a Joe Biden Kamala Harris Justice Department going after Democrat black uh, city leaders in the blackest city in America. But you know. Here's my thing with that. Why should that matter? I've been told for the last few years with Donald Trump that nobody's above the law. Well, that includes Democrats if we're going to play those rules. Nobody's above the law. Justice is blind. Again, that's got to include Democrats too if you're going to play that game. We all know people are above the law. They shouldn't be, but they are. If you're going to go after Daddy Trump, you got to go after these idiots that run these Democrat third world hell holes like Jackson, Mississippi, Memphis, Tennessee, Atlanta, Georgia, Baton Rouge, Vicksburg, Mississippi, Canton, Mississippi, and more. 
Those are just the ones around here, and you know, in a stone's throw distance from here. So good to see the first shoe drop on this. If more news breaks, I'll break with it. Planning on a big show tomorrow. We're going to have Sean Yorkron back in the studio at least for the first hour on 103.9 FM WYAB for the Clay Edwards Show. Uh, he is a former Hines County DA prosecutor, now a private attorney. He's my co-host. If you follow me, you know who he is. Uh, he's as plugged into Jackson politics and the legal system as anybody ever. And if more information breaks, he'll be the one to help us dissect it. If one of the indictments gets unsealed, I guess like, for example, I'm just going to play this game here. If Angelique's resigning, that's probably part of a plea deal with the feds. Will her indictment get unsealed today, tomorrow, Friday? We'll see. It's going to be interesting. If it does get unsealed, who else does it show in there? Was she the first one to snitch? I, I think it's a big question to ask. Her plea deal, if it's a plea deal, which she resigned, it seems to be going that direction. Was, was, is she a snitch? Did she roll on them? I hope she did. I 100% co-sign on some snitching. Don't ever break the law with me. I'm going to be the first one to snitch. I'm just telling you. We're going to go from, uh, co-defendants to me as a witness in your trial. <laughs> I'm just talking crap, but neither here nor there. I love it. I love it when people F around and find out and the, and the hammer comes down on the very people who scream racism and all this stuff. Meanwhile, they're the ones breaking the law the whole time. Jackson, Jacksonians have been suffering. The red lights don't work. Bodies are piled up in the streets. Potholes every 10 feet shootings everywhere, gas stations are unsafe. You can't even safely stop and get gas. But these people allegedly uh, taking bribes for corruption under the table. I'm here for it. Can't wait to see it all unfold. It's been a long time coming. I started this very platform when it was known as Save Jackson five years ago to shine a light in the dark places. I'm the light. These are the dark places. I love to see it finally unfold. It took a little longer than I expected, but better late than never. And this is exactly why you should let the feds investigate this kind of stuff. They have the abilities, the wiretaps, the budget, and everything to uncover all of this stuff. Whether I agree with the feds on a lot of stuff or not, hell of a job here if the rumors, innuendo, and speculation are true. Again, I hate to have to dart around it and you know be vague about it but unfortunately that's the world we live in you know i have credibility i would like to maintain if i'm wrong <laughs> so i don't want to just rubber stamp everything as fact here be sure to hit like subscribe share wherever you're watching this video much appreciated stay safe stay blessed and uh, hit that notification button if you're watching on youtube because we will break in i had to pull over on the side of the damn road if that indictment drops or if the mayor gets arrested or anybody else we will go live no matter where